Hey guys, this is Aporio594, and this is a video about um, installing boot camp onto your compu computer. I'm going to have to be using my camera because I can't do screen recording because when you restart the computer, that won't work. But um, first things that you're going to need is your Windows disk. This is a Windows Vista disk, which I'm installing. And you're going to need your Mac OS X install a DVD which has all the drivers on it so your keyboard and everything works right once it is installed. So you're going to need both of those discs and that's what you're going to use after you get everything done. The first thing that you're going to want to do on your computer is go to your dock and you're going to want to go to applications and then you're going to want to find utilities So you're going to scroll down and you're going to click on Utilities folder. After you get that, you're going to want to go for this one. It's called Boot Camp Assistant. And you're going to want to open that. Right, I've already, um, this is just an introduction and just tells you some stuff you're going to know. I've already um, made my partition. You can just show that and it's going to show where you can um, choose 32 gigabytes or you can um, choose your own amount. So what you do is you drag the, there's a dot between both of the partitions and you can move it back and forth to select the amount of space that you want. But I've already done that so I'm going to hit continue after I choose start the Windows installer which will show automatically after you partition it. Hit continue and it's just telling me now that what disk I need and I'm going to take my Windows Vista disk and I'm going to stick it in my computer and just for you to read that, you um, need a Service Pack 2 XP disk or you need a 32-bit, um, like it needs to be 32-bit and you can use Vista but it has to be a Service Pack 2 if you're using XP or else it won't work so once that disk is in, you go down here and click Start Installation and your computer is going to shut down and it should boot back up okay once it's booting up it should show a screen with some options I'm just going to take a minute, I'll come back once it's done. Okay, so now that's just about done. And it should come up with the next screen, which I can't remember which one that was. Any second now. Okay, um, Microsoft Corporation. I think I've already um, in partitioned mine in the NTFS quick before when I had XP on it and for some reason it's not asking me this time okay this isn't the best video because it's missing something what you're going to get is this other screen and it's going to ask which format you want you're going to choose NTFS for that um, format and then you're going to want to choose if, well first of all I think it's going to ask which partition and you're going to choose the boot camp and it's going to be usually the 4 for 1. So once you choose that, it's going to show 4 file options, or 5. It's going to show NTFS quick, fat quick, NTFS, and fat. And it's going to show, leave it as it is, choose NTFS. And then after that, it's going to um, format the drive, and it's going to install Windows. You really don't have to do anything there. And then once you get a VAT, you should just have to set up your Windows computer like how you would normally set it up. I click install now and it's installing Vista. And I will come back in a couple minutes. Okay, I'm now having to format my Windows partition. Because this has to be an NTFS. Um, on XP, you can choose FAT or NTFS. 
And if you choose fat, that is pretty much for if you are if you choose fat, that's pretty much only if you want to transfer transfer um, files from Vista to Mac easily. But you can still do it with Vista by putting them on a CD. Okay, I've just formatted that, so I'm going to hit next, and I have that. And now it's just going to install Windows, pretty much like how you would do if you were reinstalling it on your X, your um, Dell or HP or whatever you have. And it's just going to go and install this. It's going to take maybe half an hour to two hours, depending on your computer. It usually takes me about half an hour to do this whole process. And I will be back in a couple minutes once this is done. This part right here usually takes about 15 minutes. Okay, forget everything I said just a couple minutes ago about this was the wrong part. Um, whenever I was just saying I was formatting the... Um, partition that's what it's supposed to do but you choose the fourth one because you saw four on that screen and it should say boot camp only choose boot camp and then if it doesn't hit next just hit format and choose um, and it will already do NTFS so it works and that's pretty much it and I'll come back with other scenes but if you got confused because I was it hap something happened this time different than XP so that's why I was saying all that, but just letting y'all know. Okay, then you're going to get asked how to actually set up your Windows computer. You enter your username and your passwords and your password hint. And this is just like installing Windows boot up like the first time on your Dell or HP. So once I have the Windows all set up, I will be back. This takes just a couple minutes. Now your Windows Vista should be on, but you're not going to have any drivers. So, first of all, what you need to do is eject the disk. So you're going to go to the Start menu, you're going to go to Computer, and you're going to see your Vista install disk. If you're using a trackpad, well, you're probably going to have to do this because I don't think your right clicks on a mouse either without the drivers. You're going to have to click on that, and then up here it shows Eject on the very top goes to the left hand side and your disk ejects okay now you're done with that disk you're going to ins insert your Mac um, OS X disk and that has all the drivers for your computer on it okay so next you're going to take the disk out and you're going to insert it in your um, DVD drive you're all done with your Windows disk you just have to activate Windows with your product key. And now it's going to open your Mac disk and it's just going to ask you and it's pretty much just going to install drivers so everything works and I will come back once that is done. And Right now, it's just going to take all the drivers out of its disk for boot camp. So just go through the process, and it has on-screen instructions. Okay, boot camp is done installing on your computer. Whenever it's doing everything, your screen may go on and off a couple of times. Don't worry. And don't touch anything. If there's something popping up, just let it do its thing, and it is all by itself. So boot camp is done, and you must restart your computer so I'm gonna do that right now okay once it's done restarting your computer is totally done with Windows the screen is perfect however you would want it to be now once you're done with Windows most people don't know how to get back in Mac I will try to show you how to do that right now um, I'm sorry about this I'm gonna have to get in the video but you're gonna restart your computer you're actually going to shut your computer down. So shut your computer down how you normally would, and it's going to shut down off of Windows. And when it's booting up, I'll show you too. Okay, so now it's done. Now you hit the power key, and then you hit the option key really fast, and it should show two hard drives: one for Windows and one for Mac.
Here's the Mac and there's the Windows. So you can choose Macintosh hard drive. And now you're done and you are booting into Mac just as you would before. And your Windows is installing your computer. Thanks for watching and I hope that helps even though it may have been confusing.